Patrick's Garage. Hello, you guys, and uh, our topic for today. How can you guess? This carburetor, carburetor Zenith Stromberg. This old simple one barrel carburetor. Today we're talking about uh, how we can repair it and uh, what can be wrong with this carburetor, you know? What we can repair and what not. First of all, check uh, this membrane under this cover. I bought these carburetors from time to time on the uh, junkyard and today we look what condition of these carburetors one again carburetor okay you see also Stromberg carburetor CD this means constant depression constant depression from engines uh, to manifold goes and Carburetor works from this depression. And again, one carburetor. Also, carburetor Stromberg. And uh, we need decide which from the carburetors will be repairing. I don't know. Maybe this. Let's look. You see plug on the bottom of the carburetor. First of all, I usually check the, the floor chamber. The valve from the floor chamber can be create a more crappy situation. Over overflow of gasoline in this chamber. This uh, valve can be checked with vacuum, yes. I'll put down below this video about it. Uh, and uh, you see here a uh, slot for opening this plug with thread this plug. And we see difference in this carburetor. Oh no, maybe, maybe this. Yes, you see just plastic plug. This differs from this carburetor, this earlier and this more late. Anyway, when we replace, uh, when we repair carburetor, we need replacing this O-ring. Gasoline resistance only can be used. You see groove for the this ring for cylind float chamber. These plugs open when we adjusting this carburetor. Adjusting only with special tools. This carburetor for, for adjusting this carburetor we need special tools uh, for this main jet. You know that uh, on the um, Volvo Amazon with B18 engines used uh, adjustable main jet. This is a good solution. And uh, also adjustable main jet can be used on some models of Jaguar. Uh, we can replace him by hammer and special tools this main jet if uh, we have no special tools for replacing it. And also you need that uh, 240 series, uh, some models used adjustable needle. For adjusting needle we need also special tool. But it's not so hard and not so royal pain in the rear as the, this uh, non-adjustable, non-adjustable quartz, this main jet. Okay. Here we go. In this picture you see press tool for adjusting and installing fuel jets. Oh, very interesting. 
This is thermocompensator. I put a link down below about this thermocompensator. Also, we see cool start device. Cool start device also can be uh, must be checked when we are replacing carburetor. Let's look. We need a slot screwdriver and let's open this. Check surfaces for smooth. Smoothness of this. I go into it in detail in another video, which I'll put down below. Where is spring? I don't know. Let's open this suction chamber. We need Philips screwdriver versus early models like Amazon. We was need slot screwdriver. The vacuum creates in the engine. This creates by vacuum lifting of this the power of lifting this uh, plunger, this uh, piston, piston with needle, you see, vacuum goes to this chamber through these holes and uh, pistons, piston, this piston, lift up from vacuum with this tapered needle. Very interesting. Okay, this membrane in good condition anyway will be better to replace this membrane. Now I see I can see oh oh damage 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 you see damage so membrane must be in good condition but here you see damage west west germany of course but where where where's out so so much this membrane not so expensive for replacing use only high quality membrane we see these marks for correct installation of these Make sure that locating lock on diaphragm fits in carburetor body. Here we see marks for correct installation of this diaphragm. Also on the cap you see marks for correct installation. And uh, we need check smooth rotation of throttle shaft we see it uh, without play on the bushing and uh, shaft not wears out we need check this this carburetor from the photo series volvo this carburetor from b20 engine I bought them on the junkyard and this carburetor check. I like check these throttle shafts without playing. Good condition. This carburetor also from one photo series engine b20 and this carburetor oh let's look at the floor chamber let's see what under this cover and open what inside now we we expect float chamber 
what we expect to see inside <sighs> what we see floor chamber floor valve must be in perfect condition it cre can create much more problems if we see gasoline inside this float it must be removed and replaced adjusting of this uh, float how we can do it we can adding uh, washer or we can bend this this leg never bend here bend only here and we adjust float chamber anyway we need new set of gaskets whatsoever Let's look at this carburetor. Mislaid these screws. Unfortunately. We take apart this carburetor for spare parts. Okay. Float also mislaid and valve mislaid. I can't remember where is it. So, <clears throat> first when we assembling float chamber first we install this this plug with ring this we do for centralizing this this bottom cap for centralizing first of first we screw in this plug and after that with new ring of course i can find new ring now we then install this um, button uh, let's look base data and we see inside diameter and thickness of floor chamber ring inch size of course and we remember about atf we check IATF not to the edge but maybe six millimeters so thank you so much for your time bye for now